Previously on Dance Moms. The time has finally come for nationals. I have narrowed it down to three soloists. Cameron, Chloe, Kendall. Maddie, I don't think you're doing a solo at nationals. I'm opening a dance studio here in Los Angeles. Abby hasn't spent any time with the soloist. Sarah, get up! No babies! This is Keon, the winner of So You Think You Can Dance. Abby is in for a shock. We want to challenge the ALDC dancers. We beat Kathy again. Now, we have to focus on nationals. Coming up on Dance Moms, choreographer's cut. All the work that you have put in up until this point has prepared you for nationals. I'm just sick and tired of all the I think they're doing chandelier. Oh my god, I'm going to get sick to my stomach. Chloe, it's finished. Your kid's washed up. How dare you? Do you know anything about that kid? With a score of 286 points, your national champion. This is it. All the work that you have put in up until this point has prepared you for nationals. We've been rehearsing for three days, and now nationals are one day away. Not only are we going up against all the great studios in the country, we are going up against the Crab Apples. This is it. These kids need to be focused. They need to want to win. All right, group routines. We have Amber Alert. I'm nervous about it. It's about a little girl being kidnapped. And it's just chilling. Just the title should get the audience's attention. Isn't it haunting? It's chilling. You get it on your phone. Your routine is not chilling. Your routine is a hot mess right now. Hollywood stars, you need to be flawless. Your first national competition with the ALDC could be your last. If your group wins, then I'm sure we have a future together. If not, it was good while it lasted. Cameron, step forward. Chloe, step forward. Kendall, step forward. You have solos tomorrow. Cameron, if you lose, consider yourself out. Kendall, you have been in Maddie's shadow for quite some time. If you go out there and nail that number, then maybe you will see your name in lights. Chloe, I suggest you get in front of a mirror and you work on your confidence. It's no secret that Abby was not happy when Chloe beat Cameron the last time they went head to head. This time, it seems like Abby's not going to take any chances, and she's just going to give Chloe substandard choreography to make sure that Cameron beats her this time. The whole deal about this dance was that it had to be good choreography, and it's not. You guys are f***ing her. All right, step back in line. Abby, are there any other soloists? Well, Maddie started a solo. Maddie, do you want to do a solo? Yes. It's good that they're doing a solo, and I'm happy for them, but I want to do a solo, too. In Pyramid, Abby specifically said Maddie's busy going to Jimmy Kimmel. She does not have a solo at Nationals. I don't know what to think. Well, I think it should be that way, that the three girls get the solo. No, I just want, you know, a chance for the other girls. Oh. Melissa, I think you're backpedaling a little bit. I just remember when you were more concerned with her future than your friendships and how everybody else felt. I thought there were only three solos. But I think the issue, I thought there were only three solos to be given. I just have a lot to think about. And my number one priority is Hollywood stars and Amber Alert. It's just not where it needs to be. And we're competing tomorrow. This is it. Nationals are one day away. Kathy's here, and we cannot lose. All right, so go warm up.
Cameron, I want you to turn faster. By comparison to the elite team, the select team members are more focused. I'm opening a dance studio here in Los Angeles. And if they want to end up at that LA studio, these kids need to impress me. They need to win this national competition. Oh, nice. I love the end. Great job. Very nice. It's getting there. With Abby opening the studio in LA, makes me a little nervous. Our team is perfect for this new studio. But if our girls lose, we could be going home. Everything is riding on this competition right now. Push, push, hold. Go and shum, 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 and break. Boom. Pirouettes are not his strong point. Put in the leg on Pirouettes the turn. Pirouettes are okay? not his strong point. This one? Yes, Ooh. dear. There it is. Go. Yes. Click. Yes. There it is. I decided to use Sia's song, Chandelier. Abby thinks that it's Maddie's song. She's very territorial. And I know that that's probably going to rattle her and make her upset. Maddie has already set the bar to the Chandelier song. So I need the dancers and the moms to be completely on board with everything. I will be the first to take back my words and say I think it's an awesome concept. I, I think the dance is amazing. I think that the song makes it even more amazing. So I take back my words. Girls, this is it. The last time you're going to do these in a rehearsal studio. This number should bring everyone, not not maybe to tears, but like haunted, like, oh my god. Did the Ivy League Dance Company just do what we think they did? Yeah, we did. The Junior Elite Competition team is doing the routine Amber Alert. It's emotional. It's gut-wrenching. It's sad. It's about a little girl being kidnapped. I want every judge to be moved. I want the audience to feel something. Feet are straight, legs are straight, feet are flat. I realize I need more dancers, so why not put Sarah in? At least it's one extra body. Because if we don't do this number the way it was intended, I don't see a fourth straight national victory in our future. Mackenzie, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, I gave it to you! The dance is a mess. Abby has not invested the time that she needed to into this dance. You know what, Maddie? Why don't you go in the other room and work on your solo? I need a sure thing to count on for competition. These kids, they're struggling with these routines. I might have to really take the mothers off and stick Maddie in the competition. Can we practice the break dance? I was, you know, doing this first. I have a question. For a minute and 45 seconds, Nia and Mackenzie have choreography with that chair. So until those two get their act together, Maddie should go do something else. Melissa says nothing. The group dance is the most important dance. Shame on Melissa for not speaking up and saying that's wrong. Maddie wasn't given a solo at, at Pyramid. Now there's this super secret solo. I guess at this point, you're OK with Maddie doing a solo, because you didn't speak up. If you really aren't going to pull it, just say, I'm right. not going to pull it. I'm going to own it. Either you one. need to do something. I, I, at this point, I'm not. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. You said, oh, I'm glad my friends are finally getting a chance. You said that. Those were your words. You just made it perfectly clear where we all stand. Your decision not to say anything to Abby doesn't surprise me. That makes me sad. Oh, my god. I don't know what planet I'm on. But and that's what bothers me. That would have been a perfect opportunity. OK. I'm going to go talk to Abby. You need to be so high in your one-handed handstand that your foot is like straight, your leg comes in. I really can give what anybody tells me to do, because I'm my own person. And I'm standing up for myself. I'm not letting people walk all over me anymore. I'm just sick and tired of all the I want to just take my kids and go to nationals. I'm so over this.
Cameron is performing a contemporary piece entitled, This is the Start. When I watch Cameron dance, it reminds me of Maddie. She uses her face, she's expressive, she's mature, she gets it. But I need to see if she can be my go-to girl when Maddie's not around. Easy, easy, gentle, that foot has to be pretty. And we're seeing this bad foot land. Can she win a solo competition anytime, anyplace, anywhere? That's what I'm looking for from Cameron. Let's go! With everything that's been going on here in Los Angeles, I haven't had much time to devote to Kendall and Chloe solos. I need to be in there with those girls, running them, fixing them, if we're gonna have some winners on our hands. This is the last rehearsal. This is it, kids. All right, ready? Kendall is doing a jazz piece called My Name in Lights. Now, something has clicked in Kendall. She realizes that hard work and determination do pay off. That little over the foot thing, it looks really cool. If this kid keeps her head on straight, then maybe someday we're gonna see Kendall's name in lights with national champion written right next to it. Beautiful. Confidence. All right, Chloe. Chloe is doing a beautiful contemporary piece entitled Soaring. Will she soar or will she continue to spiral downwards to be mediocre? Glide through fourth, Ugh, go back. Glide through fourth into the attitude. Watching Chloe rehearse her solo, it's apparent that she's not the same dancer she was. And it's not because of her technique. It's about her passion. And I want her to have that spunk and that fire, but she doesn't. Chloe, you beat Cameron. Since then, it's been a downhill slide. You need to realize yourself, you have to want it, and I think you want it. You're dismissed. Thank you, Abby. You're welcome. I'm frustrated with Chloe. I want her to want it, but at the same time, I know who's responsible for stealing her passion and her joy, and that's Abby. That wasn't looking like you wanted to dance. It's gotta come from you, Chloe. I can't keep giving you the same pep talk over and over and over. I can't make you wanna dance. Whatever. I guess I'm in a really tough situation right now because I don't really think that Miss Abby's expecting me to be Cameron, and that's really hard to go into a dance competition like with all this pressure on you and then everyone's like, working against you. The only chance that kid has is if she steps on that stage and does what I know she can do, and that wasn't it. Why does she not have that fight in her? She's just like, whatever. She's beat down so much that she just gave up on herself. Los Angeles is the city of angels. This week, it's the city of apples, candy apples. And we're gonna show this city what a real dance team looks like. Why do they have that? What is this, it's like a cult? Another stupid prank from Kathy. I mean, come on. You are ridiculous. We're at Intensity National Dance Competition. This is for all the marbles. Kathy's here, which is just like a knife in my side. Plus all these other amazing studio owners. We need to prove that ALDC is in the house. I think they're doing chandelier. Kendall said she heard the music walking by their door. In the program book, it says they're doing chandelier. Oh my God, I'm gonna get sick to my stomach. I'm thinking very strongly about taking one of the solos away and entering Maddie. Do you wanna do the dance with Do you wanna do the CN number and shove it all in their faces and have the place go crazy? What do you wanna do? It's up 
to you. No, it's not up to me. I'm giving you the right to choose what you want. I'll have to say no. I can't believe that Maddie said she didn't want to perform at nationals. I think it's time she concentrate more on her dancing and less on her friends. So Maddie's not dancing. You're not putting her in. You have faith in these girls. She said not to do that. Yeah, she, like, of course. She would never want I would never do it. Melissa left that decision up to Maddie. Why couldn't Melissa make that decision? She couldn't bring herself to do the right thing. And that's really sad. Ready? Let's go. From the jazz category is number 28, My Name in Lights. Last year, at the end of the year, Kendall was the number two girl right behind Maddie. And since Maddie doesn't have a solo this week, this is an amazing opportunity for Kendall to shine and become Abby's new favorite. was amazing on that stage. Every time she's dancing now, she's better than the last. And that's exactly what Abby has been asking of her. This is number 29, Soren. Chloe was supposed to dance last year at Nationals, but her mother, Christy, ruined it for her. She'll never know if she could have won or not, but now is her chance. This is her moment to go out there and earn this victory and prove that she's still on top of her game.
I love to watch Chloe on stage. She's a beautiful dancer, she has great technique, and I think Chloe should be really proud of herself because I think it would be so hard to hear just negative things all the time and go out there and rise to the occasion and dance your heart out. Continuing on, number 26, this is the star. I love Cameron. She's a great group dancer. But can she win a solo competition? That's what I'm looking for from Cameron. Will Cameron make it on to my new West Coast team? Or will she just be another dancer in a long list of goodbyes? This is the start of a sweet takeover of the heart, all of my heart, all of my heart. I'm all so worn my breath is strong, my eyes are weak. Cameron did what a professional dancer does. She covered it without missing a beat. Her facial expressions were stronger than they were when she started. Cameron, come here. What were you doing out there on that stage? Can I just squeeze? <laughs> you had an amazing routine. What did you do? I fell. You fell. But you covered it. Nobody knew. These tears that are here, these tears, these tears are what you need to use when you're doing a lyrical routine. If one of our girls fell at nationals, there is no way Abby would be giving them a warm hug. She would be livid. Let's get them ready and focused on the group routine. How do they think that that's OK? They're trying to piss us off. Bridget and the Rotten Apples are playing the music to psych us out. She's trash. I got really mad because the song is like part of me. So I just had to show Bridget that this is my dance and no one can really do it the same. Girls, line up, let's go. Moms, get behind your daughters, quickly. 13 weeks in a row you won. Till these guys showed up. I want a team of number ones. Select team. If you're not the overall high score winners of this entire competition, I don't really need you. I brought in this select ensemble to go against my junior league competition team to push them to the next level. Now they're going up against each other head to head at nationals. Who is going to come out on top?
girls. Let's go. In the junior small group division, in the contemporary category, this number 65, Chandelier. I have done everything possible to mess with Abby's head. I'm using the song that she claims is hers and Maddie's. She knows that I'm a threat, and she knows she could lose. Party girls, don't get hurt. Can't feel anything. When will I learn? I push it down, push it down. I'm the one, a good time call. Phone's blowing up. Bring on my doorbell. I feel the love. all she wants about us using the music from the chandelier video but this group dance it was cutting edge something she's not used to in the contemporary category moving it's number 61 it's hollywood star the aldc la is about to happen if the select team doesn't brand this could be their first and last nationals with the aldc Team. They were beautiful. It's everything you would want your national group number to look like, unfortunately for us. Continuing on the competition is Amber Alert.
It's the moment of truth. Who's it going to be? The select team or the junior elite competition team? It could go either way. It's all in the judges' hands now. We are going to start off by acknowledging our top 10 scoring solos of the entire competition. Your 10th highest solo. Rachel with act number 12. In ninth place. Join me congratulating Miss Kendall with act number 28, My Name and Lights from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. Kendall has done everything that she's given. She deserved better. She was fabulous. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we actually had a tie between fifth and sixth place. Sixth place, the score of 278.4 points. Fifth place had that same score of 278.4, but a higher technique score. So at this time, join me in congratulating. In sixth place, Miss Cameron, with act number 26. This is the start from the Abbey Dance Company. In fifth place, Join me congratulating Miss Chloe with Act Number 29, soaring from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. I cannot believe that Chloe actually beat Cameron again. I, I don't know how she pulled it off. And now to acknowledge our highest scoring group routines of the entire competition. Fifth highest group routine. Act number 65, Chandelier from Candy Apples Dance Center. You had to travel 3,000 miles for fifth place. In second place, join me in congratulating Act number 61, Hollywood Stars from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. The top spot. Ladies and gentlemen, with a score of 286 points, your national champion, Act number 63, Amber Alert from the Abbey Company. Congratulations, you guys. Our fourth consecutive national championship. Way to go, girls. But not one of our solos was the overall high score winner. Not one was first place. That is unheard of for the Abbey Lee Dance Company. All I know is that when Maddie goes out to perform, she wins. Congratulations again to our highest scoring group routine. Sure, we won first place in the group. The kids were great. They should have. And according to Abby, that's the most important thing. But you know what? It's not going to be good enough. Kendall coming in ninth, no one getting in the top three is not going to be good enough for Abby. I mean, for whatever reason, she's upset. I just came out and heard that your daughter was upset where she placed. As a parent, you tell her, you suck it up, dry your eyes. It was poor Cameron, but with Kendall, when she cries, it's Kendall's wrong. Why is that? Abby is giving Jill a hard time for Kendall crying. But 45 minutes ago, you were validating Cameron crying. Why is it OK for one and not the other? You're jealous of Cameron. We're not jealous of yes, anyone. Was. And your no, kid Abby? doesn't have the technique. She does. No, you know what, Abby? That's on you. You're her technique teacher. And that, go ahead, say awful things about Thank my you. daughter. Abby didn't care if Cameron won nationals. She wanted Cameron to beat Chloe, and she didn't. And Abby can't stand to lose. Those five kids in there put your fat name on the map. No. You were no one before these kids. Why do you up. say that? Because you think putting a couple kids on Broadway makes you someone? Guess who made your household name? Them. Take a hike. She has more class in her little finger at 13 than you have in that big, fat body at 45. Chloe is finished. Your kid's washed up. How dare you? Do you know anything about that kid? No! Gotta draw the line. 
enough's enough. How low of a human being can she be? This isn't about dance. This is about human decency. And how low can you go? And I don't think anybody's lower than Abby. Well, good job, guys. We are so proud of you. So proud. Good job, guys. You did great. You did great. You all right? What? You heard. As a mom, I can't sit by and watch this woman destroy my child anymore. She can't steal her passion. She can't steal her self-confidence. My line's been crossed. Dance isn't worth it. Let's go, Chloe. It's really sad that Chloe was part of the winning group dance, and she had the highest scoring ALDC solo, and this is how her national ends. Wow. Tumultuous ending. The select team did its job. Yes, you pushed the junior elite competition team to the next level. And now, today, after that victory on stage, it's clear. They've pushed you right out the door. Goodbye. My decision to disband the select team was not in anger. They did what I wanted them to do. They pushed the right buttons. Our kids worked so hard. We beat their team three times. They only beat us once. True. That's right. And True. now we're going to the curb. To the curb. Our team beat the junior elites three times. We should not be the ones leaving. Who do I take to LA? Figure out what you want, because I have to figure out what I want. And I only want the girls that want this. I can make you a star, or I can cut you. I still want to dance. I still want to do this, but I don't want to do it with her anymore. My favorite part about dancing with the girls is that even if we lost or won, we were always a team and we always worked together. And we were just always there for each other and we know how it felt.